Hey guys, John here from New Relic, and today I'm going to walk through how to send Prometheus metrics to New Relic's telemetry data platform, and then how to visualize them in Grafana. So let's get started. I have an environment running Kubernetes that's exposing Prometheus metrics, but instead of worrying about managing storage, availability, and scalability, I'm going to use the Prometheus remote write capability to send my data to New Relic's telemetry data platform. Finally, I'll set up Grafana to point directly to New Relic's endpoint so I can continue using the dashboard and alerts that I've already set up and love. Now to do so, I'm going to follow these three simple steps. First, within New Relic, I'm going to generate that remote write snippet. Then I'll take that, I'll edit the Prometheus config file, and then finally I'll point my existing Grafana dashboard to Telemetry Data Platform. So let's get started. So I'm running Docker and Kubernetes on my Mac. And I'm using Prometheus to capture metrics from my environment. So if you run a query here, you can see that that's functioning just fine. And to send these metrics to Telemetry Data Platform, I need to update this config file. Um, and the remote write section of it isn't here yet. That's because we haven't done anything. Of course, I have an existing Grafana dashboard. It's pulling metrics from localhost. And then we're going to do our work initially within New Relic. So I've got a query here at the top to see what metric data is flowing into the system. Go ahead and run it. And as expected, there is no data yet because we haven't done the work yet. So to get started, we'll close this out. I'm gonna come up here to add your data. I'll go down to the open source monitoring system section, select Prometheus, select my account. I'll give it a name and we'll generate that remote write snippet. Now on my Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and stop Docker from running. And then we'll update our config file. So I've already downloaded the config file. We'll use Vim to edit it. And I'm just gonna put it down here at the very bottom. So on the left, I'll copy to the clipboard, paste it over here. and we'll save it, and that's all we have to do. So now that we've done that, let's restart Prometheus, this time using the config file. Now on the left, let's go back to query our data once again, and this time we should expect to see metrics coming to the system. And as expected, we now have Prometheus metrics flowing in via our remote write. So that was it for step one. Now step two, we want to connect Grafana to Telemetry Data Platform. So on the left-hand side, I have the doc site pulled up and on the right-hand side, I have New Relic running. So step one says we need to create a new X query key. Now this points to its separate doc, so let's open that up. And step one on this doc is to go to insights.newrelic.com. I've already got that up on the right-hand side. Manage data. And then API keys up here at the top. It says select the plus icon next to query keys. I'm gonna copy my key. And I'll enter a note and we'll just call it Prometheus Remote Write. Save my notes. And I'm done with that step. And we go to Grafana, you can see nothing is flowing into Grafana yet. So let's go back to the rest of the steps. So starting at step two, so we'll go and configure our data sources within Grafana. So here we are, we have a localhost already set up, but we want to add a new data source. And of course, we want that to be Prometheus. And we'll change the name here, we'll call it from New Relic. And step five is optional, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, step six, I'm gonna skip for now. I'm gonna go to step seven because I already have the key in my clipboard. So we'll go under custom headers, we'll add that header, we'll give it the name of X query key, and I'll paste the value from my clipboard. And now we'll go back to step six. We'll grab this URL here. And here we paste it over here in the fauna. Make sure we remove that space. And then step eight is HTTP method. We'll select get, save and test. 
And it looks like the data source is working, so let's go to the dashboard that I have set up. And we'll do the last five minutes, and we can see that the data has just started flowing in from our remote write. And that's how easy it is to send your Prometheus metric data to New Relic's telemetry data platform and view it in Grafana. So you can let New Relic handle data storage, scale, and providing a global view of not only your Prometheus metrics, but all of your telemetry data. And with 100 gigabytes per month of free ingest, forever, there's never been a better time to try it out than now.